your own issues. Yeah, yeah, we've, uh, it looks like blowing a head gasket, so um, luckily enough there's two short stages and uh, the engine over temperature alarm came on as we were sitting waiting for that last stage and we managed to get some bottles of water and, and put it in the engine so we got through that stage okay. The, the deal for us is to minimise time loss, get to tonight and fix it uh, and then come out fighting again tomorrow but it's nice to have a little bit of a, a gap to um, be able to conserve and still be in a position where we can fight tomorrow. What have you done? I mean, I, I know you, I know you're a good peddler, there's no question about that, but you have done some serious work to this car to, be, to have the kind of lead that you've got. I actually think though that last year we, we really literally finished it taking it to scrutineering and uh, we had so many problems last year that it wasn't, it was just really not what the car was capable of. Yep. Um, it goes really well. It's got, you know, it's just good federal tyres and, and little bits and pieces that just make it nice to drive. The sequential gearbox just gives you confidence to, to really push and if you need to and you really need to get slowed down, bang down a couple of gears and it's no drama. So if you can try and carry some confidence then you can do some good time. So uh, let's not forget Tony was learning a new car, the other guys were learning new tyres. So you know, like we probably um, had our stuff together today and, and uh, didn't want to be uh, a minute back. I'd rather be a minute up. But of course we've got problems and hopefully get them fixed.